It's still spinning. Oh, there it is. Am I live? Do I see you? I uh, All I know is there's someone in the chat wanting a makeover this morning. So I went and got all my curlers out, my curling iron, my water bottle to spritz your hair, and I've got my brush here. I got some tissue in case I spray you in the eye so you can, you can wipe that out of your eye. Give me a one if you can hear me. All right, I'm going to let you go on this. Okay, thank you. Bye, Christina. You're welcome. Christina hears me. All right. Hey, Christina on video chat. Y'all, this is the craziest thing ever. So, I could get on Facebook. I could get on Pinterest, Instagram. I could watch videos there. YouTube, all it said is cannot reach the site. So I get out the iPad. Same thing. Will not load YouTube, but it would do Facebook. It would do Instagram. <laughs> Pull out my phone. I'm like, fine. Went live on my phone last night. We can do that again. On my phone, cannot reach that site, but it would do Facebook and it would do Instagram. I I've never had such an experience before ever. So I restarted my router, same thing, same exact thing. So check out my cables. <laughs> Christina Dice's Crazy Adventure and I were on video chat trying to troubleshoot this and figure this out. And uh, so I restarted my router again for the second time. And now here we are. <laughs> so I'm just going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate. <sighs> Let you go with the last hour of frustration. <sighs> Let it go. <laughs> I don't even think this microphone's on. I don't know. I'll leave it on. So, let's say some hellos and thanks for hanging out and chit-chatting. And Ann J. Sunday Drives is here. Rob Daryl is here. Dyson's Crazy Adventure is here. Let's see here. Let's see. I'm scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Whoa. That's where I jumped at. There's Alan Schaefer, Diane Phoenix. Good morning. All right. All right. So, to all of those who were here um, before I went live, my apologies. Um, would have been here right on time if it had been possible at all. I just have never experienced anything like that before. Where my devices would run everything except YouTube. So I was beginning to wonder if I was hacked or or I got in trouble or I don't but I didn't cuz here I am. Here I am. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let the excitement begin. Oh my gosh. Last time that happened, they gave me an afro. <laughs> oh, Ron, you know, we love you. We would only do nice, kind things. I'm stressed. I'm putting on some lipstick because that just always makes you feel better. Yes, I wear like uh, regular, I started to say earth tones, normal flesh tones for myself that, uh, except for the shine didn't really change anything there. I, I don't know. Y'all remember that time I wore that bright red lipstick? <laughs> I threw that away. Uh, bright red is not my color. Uh, 
Oh, my goodness. What a very frustrating morning, y'all. But it's okay. It's all right. It's going to be just fine. And one of my best de-stressors is coming up. Hold on. Okay, can you still hear me just as well? Because my Bluetooth never did say connected. So just give me a one if you can hear me. still hear me so the best way i do stress is play some tunes that's why i keep my flutes at my desk my uh, irish whistle at my desk usually this mandolin's here by my desk but it hadn't got out yet and that's my take a break de-stress moment clear your head calm down if you gotta calm down moment <laughs> well, let's see ivis journey is here welcome 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 all right. my favorite pick now y'all might think so what you got this one and you got this one what's the big deal well here's the big deal when you have one that's the only one you use it bends eventually to fit your thumb which makes it easier to hang on to and it doesn't slip around in your hand when you're playing and I lost it. Then I found this one, but it's all chunked up and rough, which makes it hard to glide across your strings. So that one probably just needs to be in the trash. Done. <laughs> and that leaves this one. <laughs> That's a softer pick than I'm used to, but it works okay. But I sure miss my regular pick that I've been using. takes 
two tunes to distress me, de-stress me from an hour of struggles trying to get YouTube to work on my computer or my phone or or my iPads. And it wasn't just an internet thing, y'all, because I have service on my phone. It has data. And it wouldn't load YouTube for me at all. Don't know. But, but, it's okay now. It's okay now. Let's see. Where can I lay this down in a safe area? From Cat Entanglement. There we go. Diane says it is a huge deal. My grandson tore the house apart searching for his favorite pick. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. And last night I made peace with my bangs. <laughs> I don't know. It was so weird last night. I looked so different to myself. And I think it's because the angle of the phone was down looking up at us. And yeah, I don't know. It, it, my bang I did just get a haircut so my bangs are like shorter than normal and um yeah so I, since I could get on Facebook I made a little post <laughs> about I can't get YouTube to load so you know apologies to those who were looking for me um and I noticed I used my avatar and y'all I noticed my avatar has a brown hat on backwards <laughs> Like I wear my hats. I didn't do that. <laughs> and then it has a few where it's turned around in, in the bills in the front, but then most of them, my avatar has their hat on backwards, just like I do all the time. <laughs> that cracked me up. Oh my gosh, that cracked me up. Seeing my avatar with their hat on backwards. <laughs> There's Tracy Oceanfire777. Hello. Thank you for being here. Diane says YouTube crashes once in a while. Well, Christina could get could get on. It was working for her. I just, I don't know. It was, I hope that never happens again. Because I got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm getting ready to uh, be doing lives on all four of my channels. And, and, uh, Avatar is accurate. <laughs> but that is so funny because, but here's the interesting part, you guys. I don't post a whole lot of pictures of myself over there with my hat on. You never see me over here on YouTube without it. I wear it all day long. Um, but I guess I've posted enough pictures over there, selfies that I don't know. It just surprised me. I was like, I was laughing so hard and crying because I couldn't get on YouTube. <laughs> no, I didn't really cry, but I was getting angry. I was getting really frustrated. So if you're frustrated and angry, what do you call that? Frangry? <laughs> if you're hungry and irritable, you're hangry. So was I frangry? Because I was frustrated and angry. Frangry, is that a new, new word? I don't know. It could be. It could be. And y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's one of those days. <laughs> oh. My goodness. So I had that really bad migraine and so I did not attempt crocheting this week after all. So I will try next week. I'm going to wait till like Wednesday. Get my eyes back to, to work and write. And uh, so I want to wear my granny square pants, guys. I want to wear those pants um, that I had a migraine. <clears throat> had a, a migraine that just put me right to bed. Just, I, I can't function. I'm out of here. Right to bed. And uh, now my glasses are dirty. That's going to give me a headache. Oh, 
my glasses cleaner is missing. Get around the corner. Eh. We'll just use some spit. <laughs> Normally I just lick them. But you know, I am on YouTube right now. <laughs> okay, cleaning my glasses, giving them a little spit bath. A little spit bath. Did you ever get a spit bath? I did. Okay, let's see if the spit bath helped my glasses. Yes, it did. <laughs> it worked. Yay. Good to know. When you're frangry because your glasses are dirty and giving you a headache, don't be frangry. It's okay. Just give them a little spit bath and they'll be good. <laughs> oh. Uh. No, my pants didn't give me a migraine trying to focus and read and work with my hands on a focused little teeny area gave me the migraine. Diane gave kids spit baths a lot. Christina said, did she? me too. <laughs> <clears throat> Have not had my allergy pill yet this morning. Well, I'm all cattywampy. When you're friendly, your clothes go crooked. <laughs> Don't be friendly. It's okay. It's okay. I'm on the phone with Christina and I'm sitting here. It's going to be okay. It's all right. It's, you can do this. It's going to be okay. And then I looked at her and I'm like, I'm giving myself a pep talk. It's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it's going to be a good day anyway. I'm not going to let that affect how the rest of my day goes. Not at all. I've got uh, some video editing to do. I know it's the weekend and it's a holiday weekend on top of that. But Doug's at work. Um, so it's okay for me to do some video editing and stuff. Um, till he gets home. Um, let's see here. <laughs> My clothes jump off and run when I'm frangry. <laughs> Ron says, have a great day. I got to get busy. You too, Ron. Thanks for being here. Oh, my goodness. Frangry. I think this is going to become a real term. Frangry. Frustrated and angry. Because if you're hungry and angry, you're hangry. So I was extremely frustrated and angry this morning. So I was frangry. I like this new word. I like this new word. <laughs> oh my. What a morning. What a morning. What a morning. But the day is going to be fantastic. The day is going to be fantastic. I have some security camera footage I'm going through. I went through about three days worth last night, and then I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore, so I went to bed. So I, I've got uh, probably five more days to go through. Not sure, but I can do it. I can do it. I can actually, that's probably what I'm going to be doing instead of editing is that. All right, blowing some dirt off my computer. How does your computer get dirty? Well, I don't know. The cats jump over my computer all day long, and sometimes they jump over my head from back there to over here on my desk. But that's a little freaky. That's the only thing I can figure out. I don't know. My hands are clean. My hands clean. They look pretty clean to me. So I don't know. You need to copyright Frangry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't make me Frangry. You won't like me when I'm Frangry. Yeah, I got pretty Frangry after trying to get YouTube to work for an hour. 
So it 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 had to have been something here on my end because y'all were already over here uh, talking and so I don't know what it was. I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, not yet. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have even said that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, now I'm getting frangry again. Actually, I'll be beyond frangry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'll let you all know in in a couple days. But I got to figure this out first. Um. And now I need to play another song. <laughs> Let's see, what song should we play now? Actually, I'm sitting here looking at a picture of it because it's pulled up on my phone. So, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'm recovered. <laughs> Music is good therapy, y'all. Music is really good therapy. Oh. Uh, whew. You know, I haven't even had breakfast yet, so... I'm in my head planning. I know I'm going to be sitting there looking up at that security camera footage, which really isn't fun <laughs> when you have so much to look through. Um, I'm going to vote. Okay, I'm going to have, we're going to vote. We're going to hold a family meeting. Okay, family meeting. Okay. Oh, I'm the only one home. Okay. Okay. Ava, what do you want for breakfast? I think I want um, scrambled egg breakfast burritos. Hmm, that sounds really good. Let's vote. Who wants uh, breakfast burritos? Okay, it's unanimous. Breakfast burritos it is. <laughs> hmm, I love breakfast burritos. Sometimes I eat them for... Um, 
lunch, somebody's alarm's going off on their vehicle. And sometimes I eat them for supper. Mm. I've been on a music is as essential as breathing. Yes, it is. Um, the, Christina says that yummy, yummy. Yes. <laughs> I've been on, oh, I've been eating that. Uh, tell you what, I've been on a salad kick for a whole week. I've been on the salad kick and, um, just because it sounds good. It sounds good. So I bought the stuff for taco salads. We had taco salads two weeks in a row. And this payday, which is Thursday, we're going to have taco salads again. Because I I just had to have taco salads again <laughs> last Thursday. Because I guess my brain is programmed Thursday is taco salad day. Thursday is taco salad day. On payday. So every other week. Every other week. Um, is that a bagel? My emojis are little on my computer. Is Christina having a bagel? Mm. You know, I was, that reminds me, I was going to start making some homemade, uh, fruit jellies, jams, jellies, butters. That's what it was. Fruit butter, fruit butters. And um, haven't done that yet. It's almost uh, blackberry season here. I've got a few ripe blackberries out there, but not very many. Um, I've got, uh, oh, some of the purple cone flowers are blooming. And I'm so glad because people are taking pictures of them not blooming. And I'm like, what are you did? The lawn guy took a picture of them. I'm like, look. I realize they're taller than me. And what is up with that? They've never been that tall. This year they're taller than me. So they're taller than me. They're a pretty big flower bed. And they're not blooming. So I realize, as with most flowers, and especially wildflowers, before they bloom, they kind of look like weeds. They kind of do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, purple cone flowers. I'm sorry, daisies. But you kind of do look like a weed until you put out that pretty flower. So I've I've caught three people out there just studying it, looking it over, one, one person snapping some pictures. And I'm like, what are they doing? I'm like, should I go out there? Doug's like, don't worry about it. They didn't touch them. They didn't pull any. I watched pretty closely to make sure they weren't, like, going to pull stuff up. Um, but now that they're starting to bloom, they're obviously flowers in a flower bed. So that makes me feel better. I've never, they've never drawn that much attention before they bloomed before. But again, they've never, I'm 5'2", and they're taller than me. Now, I know I'm short, but... <laughs> Still, they're taller than me. They're like over my head, like this far. So what does that make them? Five, five? I don't know. They've never been that tall. But um, but they're starting to bloom. So I'm happy. I'm happy. And maybe people won't be so confused about why does Ava have this big patch of weeds? <laughs> <clears throat> Once they bloom, they bloom till the cold weather hits and they just can't bloom anymore. <clears throat> it's one of the reasons I like them so much. They just keep blooming and keep blooming. Let's see. Ann says, Scott eats breakfast burritos every morning. You know, and I was there for a while and I had this certain ingredients I had to have. I had to have scrambled sausage, not patties, but scrambled sausage, my scrambled eggs, um, but I started with um, sautéing some onions and peppers and some tomato, fresh tomato in there, cooking that together and then mixing it all up together. And uh, mm, so good. So good. I don't have all those ingredients today. So it'll probably be in cheese. It'll probably be scrambled eggs and cheese and a little bit of salsa. But hey, still good in my book. Still good. We used to buy these big tortillas 
the big supersized flour tortillas. I've moved down to the regular size tortillas. <laughs> oh, apple butter. Mm, yes, apple butter. So what, what got me started on the butters? is the rhubarb butter. Uh, Floss was telling us about a, a rhubarb festival, and I don't remember who sent me the butter recipe. It was either Christina. I think it was Christina. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was Christina at Dyson's Crazy Adventure. If I'm wrong, please forgive me. Um, yo, bacon in your breakfast burrito. That would be... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, it was Christina. Sent me a graphic with the recipe for rhubarb butter. And so I went to that website and there's there's all kinds of fruit butters. You can make strawberry butter. Um, ooh, I wonder what banana butter would taste like. Um, sorry, random thought in my head. <laughs> But apple butters, pear butters, all kinds of butters, right? Peach butter. Um, and it's a very simple little recipe. Um, the only ingredient you need is a little bit of sugar. And uh, I don't remember. It's probably not the only extra ingredient you need. But it was very simple. It was like three ingredients. Is it. Um, which reminded me of my Depression Era wine recipe, right? Um, three ingredients. And, um, so I will be looking into that. It said if you use berries that, um, to de-seed them, but I don't mind the seeds. I don't think, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you would de-seed blackberries or strawberries. I guess peel the berries. You could actually peel the outside off. I guess that's how you do that. I don't know how you would do blackberries, but. That sounds so good. Yeah, they all sound good. And then I told Doug, if I make that, you got to get me some bagels because mm, that would be delicious as a spread on your bagel. Mm. So then that leads to the next question. Cream cheese or no cream cheese? Would I still put cream cheese on my bagel with a little fruit butter on the top? Or would it only be the fruit butter? Hmm. Hmm. Things to think about on this Saturday morning. I don't know. I would have to do an experiment and see. I will have to see. So I guess the first step is to buy me some little fruit, uh, jelly jars. The little ones. And because uh, that recipe, that recipe that Christina sent me, in the picture anyway, it showed four little jars of, of uh, the butter. So, I don't know if that's actually how much that recipe makes. It might only make two jars. Um, I don't know. We'll have to investigate this and, and find out. Because I am going to make me some fruit butters. Absolutely. Uh, Anne makes baked apple butter. Mm, I love apple butter. Let's see here. Yes, both. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Christina says put them through a small strainer the metal one mm. so I have when I make blackberry wine um, I have it's for wine making but it's a cone shaped metal colander with teeny teeny holes all through it you put your fruit in there, and then it has this big wooden um, piece shaped like the cone of the colander. And you just sit that in there and start going round and round. And as the berries mash, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper, and the juice is squirting out. So I have that that I use for my wine. So I guess I do that. that you're right. That would work for... Um, for straining those as well. Um, I wonder if you can get little ones of those. That would be interesting. Ashley Ratliff, good morning. Good morning. 
Oh. That could work for the seeds. Yeah, because I don't have blackberry seeds in my wine. And then I could run it through some cheesecloth just to be sure. Just to be sure. Hmm. Hmm. So I already have what I need. I just didn't realize it. Interesting. Hmm. So, yeah. So I'm going to be looking up apple butter recipes. I'm going to be looking up. Um, these are stovetop recipes. Um, where you make them in the, in the pan and you stir. So then I'd have to see, um, if I have a pan suitable for that, I'm sure I do. Or I might need to go thrifting and find me a pan just for that purpose. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, don't make me go thrifting. No, don't make me go thrifting. I'm packing my bag right now. Where's the keys? <laughs> Going thrifting is one of our favorite things to do. Doug included. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you for reminding me of that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, I see. I see. All right, I see. I think I have one of those. I used to have a strainer like that. I'll have to see if I still do. It it might have got rent by Doug pouring grease, straining grease. I don't know for sure, but I think that might be a possibility. So I, I'll have to go thrifting and find one of those. Yes. And that's what you use when you do your jelly. Awesome. That would be easier than what I have. Food meal would work too, Diane says. Nice. Oh, they have them at the dollar store. Ooh, nice. We'll have to go check that out for sure. Now I'm getting hungry, guys. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I would still put the cream cheese on my bagel and the fruit butter on the top of that cream cheese. I'm just saying I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. <clears throat> mm. well, let's see. I'm not, I'm not for angry. I'm not for angry. I'm just playing for fun now. Just for fun. I'm not for angry anymore. Nobody's made me frangry. Sometimes you also just play for fun. You can play when you're sad, when you're glad, when you're happy. Tell you what, music has got me through some depression too. Absolutely has. And when you're angry, you can play. When you're frangry, when you're hangry. Probably won't help much if you're hangry because you're hungry. Hangry would be probably the one thing music might not help with, but everything else, music is fantastic. But you know, it might keep you calm while you're fixing your food when you're hangry. So there you go. It'll help with that too. <laughs> Let's see. right in the middle of that.
that was a combination of three different songs. One I accidentally went into, didn't mean to. And I couldn't even tell you the name of that one. It's a new one I'm working on. Learning that I heard another group play. Cruising scene is here. Hello, hello. So we're playing a little bit of mandolin. We're talking about a new word we just created today. Because for the first hour, I'm supposed to be live at 10. And from 10 till about 11, I could not get YouTube to come up on any of my devices. Not my phone, not my iPad, not my computer, nothing. But yet I can get on everything else. And I was a little frustrated. And you know, when you're frustrated for a whole hour, you might start to be getting a little angry. So we created a new word called frangry. Because when you're hungry and angry, hungry and getting irritable, you're hangry. So if you're frustrated and you're getting angry, you're frangry. So we have a new word. Yay! Frangry. I'm not frangry anymore. I've since calmed down. This is me calm. <laughs> Goofy as always. It's okay. Goofy's my middle name. Ava Goofy Giggles Potterfield. <laughs> oh, wait. Does that mean Gigi could be my nickname? Goofy Giggles Gigi. Hey. So I created a new word, Fringry, and have a new nickname called Gigi. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, Christina. Absolutely. She was on the phone with me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to restart everything again, which I've already done. So we crossed our fingers really hard, really hard, and it worked. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me calm, Christina. <laughs> oh my. Traumas of happiness. There you go. <laughs> Love GD. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Well, y'all, I hope you have a fantastic weekend, a happy holiday, and great 4th of July. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you to our veterans and to those who are currently serving in our armed forces. Um, thank you for the freedoms that we have today. And um, we appreciate it very much. We're always thankful. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. You help me when I'm frangry. <laughs> Ferengri. Yeah. I like this new word for angry. Frustrated to the point of anger. For angry. Step away. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> yes, I chopped some ice. Sorry. I'm an ice chomper. <laughs> Doug, however, is not an ice chomper. Yeah. It might get on his nerves once in a while. But, you know, I don't chop too much ice because usually I'm drinking out of this. I put my my soda in there. I put Because it's spill proof, this won't spill. If the cuts, because this is my desk. This is also where I work my other job and um if the cats knock it over it's spill proof and it doesn't um it doesn't spill on my papers or my computer i keep it down here on the level below my computer um and it doesn't spill in my lap y'all when the cat jumps through like a maniac and knocks everything down it doesn't spill in my lap that's no fun either having that spill in your lap and for those who don't already know, I know most of you do, if you see this rubber band here, it's just a rubber band, 
I got to where I was having trouble opening this because it seals pretty tight, right? I was having trouble opening it. So Doug, because it's metal and my hands would just go like this. So Doug, my genius husband, Doug said, I'll fix that. And he took my cup and he came back and he had this rubber band on it. And it's like a gripper and it really <laughs> works. So I just leave that on there. It's my gripper. My gripper. <laughs> Ooh, Christina's thinking of doing a live tomorrow morning. Let us know. Yeah. I don't always get my notifications. And I do have your bell ring. Um, so I mean, don't even hesitate to message me. They, hey. I'm going live and I'll be there. Ron's been chomping ice for days. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to let you go. I've got that footage, security footage I need to go get to working through and, and see what I can find on that. And um, thank you for being here and my apologies for not being here when I was supposed to be here. I've never experienced anything like that where everything worked except for YouTube. I, I it was frustrating and made me frangry, <laughs> but thank you y'all. You all are the best medicine. So thank you for understanding. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being goofy with me. <laughs> Thanks for encouraging me. And thank you, Christina, for keeping me calm while I was trying to figure all this out. I was about to give up. Like, I'm going to try it one more time. And thank goodness we did because that one more time worked. Yes. So good. So glad. All right. Well, everybody have a great day. And always remember, remember that you are awesome. You are wonderfully made. You are great just the way you are. It is a pleasure to know you. If you find yourself struggling, and I definitely had a struggle morning, if you find yourself struggling, whether it's health, circumstances, or emotionally, just know that we can do hard things. You can do hard things, and you're going to get through it. Baby step if you have to, but just keep moving forward. Um, we appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for being here. And I'm looking for number 22, which they weren't numbered on my phone, but they are on my computer. So here we go. Have a wonderful weekend, y'all. Happy 4th of July. Love ya. Thank you. <laughs>